this is fluffy slime and in this video we are going to be making it so let's get on to the video hey guys this is Casey and today I'm going to be making slime or fluffy slime um in this experiment with Natalia we didn't really make slime but we're going to try this time so for this one you're going to need a container Some laundry detergent, shaving cream if you want to make it fluffy, glue, or you can use a face mask. I don't have glue right now. And you're going to need a stirring device. So, first thing you're going to want to do is get your container and get either your glue or your face mask and just pour some in. As you can see, I'll put a little bit tiny bit more. That's good. And then you're gonna stir it up. And it's all glue. Like and then you're gonna put in some of your laundry detergent. Stir that up. Put more of this in. And let's put some more laundry detergent in. You don't want to make it too hard. Or you don't want it to fall apart basically. So right now, you should have like a chunk of slime like that. I'm only using a little bit of the face mask because I don't want to use too much of it to make a mess. Let's put a little bit more in. And then when you put more of that in, you're going to put a little bit more laundry. That's probably good enough. So right here you should have this. You can stir that up. So right now I have this big blob of like um, face mask and laundry detergent. That's why it's a nice clear blue. If you touch it, it feels like slime. A lot like slime. Like you would stretch it like that. But if you, you can like, um, if you don't like your slime to be, that makes your hands all goopy, what you can do is you can grab some shaving cream, just put a little bit in, and stir that up to make it fluffy slime. Fluffy slime just means it's fluffy. So I'm just going to play with it a little bit. So right here I have some slime. It really works as you guys can see. I oh, know. Okay. That's probably good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You don't want... Oh no. I'm making a big mess. But for something good. Try not to make a mess like I did. My slime is really fluffy. Oh. Like, look at it. It's so fluffy. 
We can put some more. So right here, you can see the slime. And then you can just roll it in to some of the shaving cream. I wonder if whipped cream would work. <laughs> Probably not. But then you can kind of eat it. But you couldn't eat the laundry detergent or the face mask. Or if you use glue. Glue could probably work better. Right now, I'm going to add some more. Oh no. It's losing the potential. Slime goodness. Oh my. Um, I'll clean that later. Where did I put the spoon? Oh, it's in here. It's hidden. And then if that doesn't really work, you could put some more. My laundry detergent is Tide. I saw that Tide works best. You could use um, Dawn or some other type. So I'm going to get all of that. And it should kind of stick together. So I'm going to roll it in some of this. We're going to stick it all together, just so it's more like slime. Like, look. This was way better than the other slime we made. The other slime we made wasn't really slime. So, next what you can do is just kind of... Don't make too big of a mess. I can just clean this up after. What I'm going to do is put it back into the, I'm going to get some of the face mask and just pour it onto my hand. And then I'm going to rub it in to it to make it so it's more like slime. Like, look at it now. Just so you know, this idea was inspired by my friend Kira. You can check out her channel, is The Mills Family. I shouted her out in the last video. But I asked her how to make slime, and she said this was a good way. And it really was. Like, look. It takes a while for the slime to break, too. So, if you guys want to make slime... You can use those three ingredients. Three? Yeah, three ingredients. You can do that. So, um, yeah, I used, as I said, I used Tide. It worked really well to make it more like slime. And it's especially fluffy. Like, watch. If you want to make more slime, all you need to do is add more of the peel-off mask. That made a good slime. You can just rub it to make it a little bit cooler. And so you know the slime turned out like this. Now watch. It doesn't really... If you keep playing with it and you have some clean hands it will start to get used to that and then it will not really be that anymore so i'm gonna put a little i want it to be perfect there we go that's enough of that so you can rub it around to make your slime as good as possible I might, actually, I don't think I'm going to rub it into anything, because it's already really slimy. Like, you can kind of hear it. So, yeah, that was a success. So, three items are glue or face mask. Face mask actually worked pretty nicely. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this go on the table right here. Just lie there. And look at my hands now. 
they're starting to get used to it, but the back's not really. But now, the slime is not like that anymore. Now the slime is nice and fluffy. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can give a like on this video and subscribe. The slime says bye. And I hope this guide is helpful for you if you wanted to make slime. But if you have none of these materials, you can use, if you have borax, you can use that instead of the laundry detergent. If you have no peel off mask, you can use glue. If you have no shaving cream, you can't, like, it doesn't have to be fluffy slime. Like, mine is not that fluffy, but it still is really cool, as you can see right here. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it and subscribe, as I said. And for now, bye guys!